Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium C series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the New Heartbreaker series. So for today's video, I'm going to be memory planning the week of July 24th to the 30th. So it's pretty much the last week of July. Can't believe we're moving into August already. This is the kit that I'm going to be using. It is the Pink Lux kit. I actually do have a mini album um, that has this artwork on it. It's actually this kind of scene here. So if you guys are interested in that, I think I may have like one or two left in stock. So um, here are the full boxes of the kits. I've added these confetti overlays from Rose Color Days on top in Silver Hollow. That is the foil I'm going to be using this week. I love the fashion theme. It has a home organization feel to it with the closet in here. Um, and that works perfectly because I did a lot of organizing for my house this week so I really like this kit for that. Here's the bottom washi, the functional page so you get three sets of headers, cyber elements and then you do have your page flags and checklist here and then you also get the fancy box page. If you order the full kits you'll also get the solid box page here and the full box checklist. So I'm going to be using all six pages today and then I've also pulled the deco that matches it and what I've done is I've actually um, already split up the florals here because I know for sure that I'm going to be using them in here and then also I have the small monthly scripts which I will be using there at the top. With the quarter sheets you can purchase them on white mat or transparent mat sticker paper. Here is a glimpse of last week. I used the Coco Cabana kit one of my all-time favorites. I mean look at it. I love the colors. These are like my kind of colors. So if you guys are interested in checking out this plan with me, it's up on my channel right now. It was last week's video and I'm using the printable inserts from my shop. So if you guys are interested in the printables or any of the stickers from my shop, go ahead and use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. Hey guys, so I am just popping in to let you know that um, after I filmed this video, I went to go upload it and I noticed that the part where I am putting down the base is completely blurry and so um, I'm not going to include that in the video. I'm just going to go straight into the day by day so I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, it was my fault for not focusing the camera correctly but hopefully that won't happen again and um, in the next plan with me you guys will see the, how I like to do the base. But basically all I did was just put down the base and I just mentioned about my 2024 planners that I'm planning on purchasing very soon. So um, I think next week I will talk about that more in detail. So let's get back to the plan with me. Like I said, I'm sorry about the uh, clips that are missing, but hopefully um, you guys can still enjoy this video. So I'll see you guys soon. So this is what my base is looking like so far. I'm a little worried that everything was blurry, so I'm hoping that wasn't the case. Uh, I won't know until I check it over again. But just to fill in my sidebar, I didn't have too many things to do this week other than uh, film and create my new journal prompts. Um, it's about that time where I release some new ones. So that was my focus and then also just working on some fall collections. This week I worked on a collection called Autumn Chic. So I'm really excited about sharing that with you guys. I think it turned out really cute. I'm just gonna add this little makeup pouch there. And then in this bottom box here, I'm also going to write in Christmas in July, because that was the big event for this week. So there we go. So starting off with Monday, I did actually complete my journal prompts. So I made two sets. So those are going to be releasing pretty soon. Um, and then after that, I did do some editing. I'm going to use this taupe color. And for editing, I have a keyboard here and an edit script from my shop. I also started on my designing, like I mentioned. I'm going to use a large box for that and I want to use maybe this one. This 
the kitten has a lot of pinks. I have this Coffee Monsters Co. sticker here, and that is for design. I designed a couple of kits this day, and I can't decide honestly which one I like better. I really like both. And then at the bottom here, I am also going to mark down with a Coffee Monsters Co. character that I did uh, some new releases. In the shop, we had a new collection called Sweet Like Honey, which is um, a nice honeybee theme kit. In this empty spot, I'm going to use this large deco sticker here. Because I did work on uh, organizing clothes, so that flat lay is perfect for that. And I don't think I'm going to write on top of that. I'm just going to leave it as is. So that is everything for Monday. So I'm going to mark down Christmas in July first thing. And I have this Teddy's Plants Co. girl with the Christmas cookies. And I think the pink in her outfit matches this kit perfectly. So that started in at 9 a.m. And then after that, I did uh, have to do some printing and cutting. So I started working on the orders. So I have another Teddy's Plants Co. character for that. And then I did do some designing. For designing, let's see, I think I want to use just a small box. And I have this character from Stationery Heaven to mark that down with. I don't know if that shop is still open. She might be closed already. In the evening, I did do a little bit of filming. So I have one of the bow icons from my shop and a film script also from my shop. And then I'm gonna mark down also that I had my Chic Sparrow April unboxing go up, which um, a lot of you guys really, really love. So I'm gonna take one of the florals that I cut up and I will add that here so we can add this little cloud planner that is also from my shop. So I'm going to be using a B6 TN next year as one of my planners. And I bought this cover for it, for that system. So go ahead and check it out. It's a lovely pink color. I know a lot of you guys were um, interested in picking up that color as well, but I think it's now sold out. So now let's move on to Wednesday. So Wednesday I had a lot of newsletters that I wanted to uh, prep for the month. I think it's easier to prep them all for the entire month. So that's what I did this day. And that is from My Little Puffy. Um, I did also have to ship out orders. So let's use a big box and I'm going to use the other side of that floral just so that we can mark in post office. So I have this little mailer. This is from my shop and the post office script is also from my shop. That is on transparent matte sticker paper. After the post office, um, I did just watch a little bit of um, a new show. So I'm going to use a scallop box. For the show, I have a bow icon, the little TV here. So I'm just going to mark that in. And then at the bottom here, I'm also going to mark in that we had my Ferris Wheel Press unboxing. I did receive um, some new ink. Um, it's in a lovely kind of dark purple color. I want to save it for Halloween just because I feel like the color would be nice for October. So I'm not going to ink it up just yet. I'll wait until then. But I'm just adding a little bit of the florals once again and I'm using a Coffee Monsters Co. character just to mark down my new fountain pen ink that I got. I am getting a couple of orders from Coffee Monsters Co. soon. They're on its way, so I'm excited for those to come in. So this is how the first half of the week turned out. 
I love the colors. The florals look really good in this. All right, so now let's move on to Thursday. So Thursday, it was a kind of slow day. I'm just gonna mark in some family time. So I have this custom of me and my sister from Teddy's Plants Co. and a little family time script here. That is from my shop. I did have to ship out some track orders, so that had to go through chit chats. So I'm using another Happy Mail sticker from my shop just to mark that down. And then after that, um, I did continue watching that show with my family. So let's grab another TV icon. Loving all the pinks in this spread. If you love pink, I think you'll like this kit a lot. It's a good departure from all my summer kits that I've been using a lot of lately. And then I'm also going to mark in my stationery haul here. So we're going to grab another one of these florals on top like that. And the sticker that I'm using is from Ohana Story. I think she changed up her character, so it doesn't look exactly like that now. It's one of my favorite shops. So there we go. That is everything for Thursday. Friday, um, I did do some organization once again. Let's use this tone. So I'm going to use this little house icon just to mark down that we organized one of the other rooms. Did a lot of decluttering. It feels good when you get rid of so many things. So I've been enjoying that a lot lately. Okay, next up I'm going to mark down editing up here. And then below that, I will also mark down listings. So for editing, I have a little keyboard that is from my shop. The edit script is also from my shop. Um, and then for listings, I'm just going to use this little to-do list. This is from my shop as well preparing for all the new releases that we're going to be having. Um, I also want to mark down some of my self-care, so let's do box for my face mask. And I actually am using this little girl here. I think maybe the box is too small for it. So let's use a larger box here. This little character is from, I believe, it's the Whimsical Cat. It's been a while since I've ordered from them, but I thought the green face mask was really cute and matched this kit. So at the bottom here, I'm just going to mark down new releases with another one of the Coffee Monsters Co. stickers. And then next, I'm actually going to mark down that I had some planning time with one of the deco. Now on to Saturday, I'm gonna mark down that I had more family time. So let's go ahead and grab one of my little customs of my family. I have another family time script for that. And I just break mine apart and stack them on top of each other so that it fits better in that little corner. Um, so after that, um, I did start to watch my show. So I'm going to use this box and we'll use a paper shire sticker for that. Also, I did a little bit of filming. Let's see, what color should I use? I want to use this color. So for filming, I'm going to grab another bow from my shop of the camera and I continued working on my planner setup. So I was still working on my pocket rings and I have a personal Filofax Malden that I'm also working on. So those are some new setups that you'll probably see me working on um, and sharing soon. So I'm just going to write planner setup and I used a little bow icon from my shop that is of the bullet journal. 
So again, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off for that. And then next up, I'm just going to mark down that um, it was raining all day. So I'm going to use this Paper K character under the umbrella. But I was still wanting to plan out um, the garden. We want to create a vegetable garden. So we've been talking about that a lot lately. So for the garden, I'm going to add this little paper shire character there. I just love her stickers. I think they're perfect whenever you need something garden related. So I have that sticker handy. All right, next up on Sunday, I'm gonna mark down editing first. So I'm gonna use this coffee girl here from Teddy's Plants Co. And then I did catch up on my journal because I've been pretty bad about it lately. So I'm actually gonna leave some space there because I wanna add some of my florals again. So we'll add that there on top for my journal. For my little journaling session, I'm gonna use this little cloud planner just to mark that down. I also did my nails. So let's use a scallop. And I have this adorable green nail polish sticker from Stationery Heaven Co. This is from my shop. I'm not sure that I'm gonna list that, but let me know if you guys would like that and I can definitely add it to my shop. That's just something that I made for myself. And then this is actually the last day that I can use my Erin Condra Compact Vertical Planner. I've been using it every single day for a year. So it finally finished. So I need to um, find a new YouTube planner. So I'm gonna try out my weeks and see if I like that. So I just wanted to mark in that I'm moving into my new weeks now. So I have a little weeks planner there. That is from my shop. And then lastly, I'm also going to mark in that I had my memory plan with me go up. And again, I want to use a little bit of the florals just to top that off. And the spiral bound planner is from miss and meow so there we have it i just didn't use a couple off the deco sheet but as you guys can see i used most of the boxes i used most of that page i still have these ones so i may save them for my a6 but the full boxes are all done too so let's take a look at my spread inside my planner and we can see the finished look so here's what the spread looks like back in my planner. As you guys can see, there's a lot of pink. I feel like the pink scallop of my inserts looks so pretty with this spread. Um, it just brings all the scallop and all the pink together. So I really love it. Um, once again, if you guys are interested in this kit, it is called Pink Lux and it's available now in the shop. You guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. I really like how this, this walk-in closet looks like. I think it just really matched this week perfectly and how I was organizing the home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. And once again, if you guys are interested in any of the stickers or the printables from my shop, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!